Discount. Discount is the deduction on the marked price MP of an article. Selling price equals to marked price minus discount. Discount is equals to marked price minus selling price. Discount is always calculated on marked price. Let us consider a problem. A chair marked at rupees eight hundred fifty is available for rupees six hundred eighty. What is the amount of discount and percentage of discount? Marked price equals to rupees eight hundred fifty. Selling price equals to rupees six hundred eighty. Therefore, discount equals to rupees eight hundred fifty minus six hundred eighty equals to rupees one hundred seventy. Percentage of discount equals to one hundred seventy into one hundred upon eight hundred fifty equals to twenty. Gain or loss percent. Profit equals to selling price minus cost price. Loss equals to cost price minus selling price. Profit percent equals to profit upon cost price into one hundred. Loss percent equals to loss upon cost price into one hundred. Profit or loss percent is always calculated on the cost price (CP) and not on the selling price (SP). Let us consider a problem. By selling a trouser at a profit of rupees one hundred twenty, a shopkeeper made a profit of twenty percent. Find a the cost price, b the selling price. Let the cost price of the trouser be rupees X. Then twenty percent of rupees X is equals to rupees one hundred twenty. Therefore, twenty upon one hundred into X equals to one hundred twenty. Therefore, X equals to one hundred twenty into one hundred divided by twenty equals to six hundred. Thus, the cost price of the trouser is rupees six hundred. Therefore, selling price is equals to cost price plus profit equals to rupees six hundred plus one hundred twenty equals to rupees seven hundred twenty. Hence, the cost price and selling price of the trouser are rupees six hundred and rupees seven hundred twenty, respectively. Difference between simple interest and compound interest. You already know about simple interest. to understand the concept of compound interest we take up two examples simple interest suresh borrows rupees 50000 from mohan at 15% per year simple interest for two years here simple interest si is equals to rupees 50000 into 15 into 2 upon 100 equals to rupees 15000 therefore amount equals to rupees 50000 Plus rupees fifteen thousand equals to rupees sixty five thousand. Compound interest. Arthi borrows rupees fifty thousand from a finance company for one year that charges interest at the rate of fifteen percent per annum. Then, at the end of one year, Arthi will pay the company a borrowed sum principal equals to rupees fifty thousand and b. Interest on rupees fifty thousand for one year at the rate of fifteen percent per annum equals to rupees fifty thousand into fifteen into one divided by one hundred equals to seven thousand five hundred. Total amount she pays equals to rupees fifty thousand plus rupees seven thousand five hundred equals to rupees fifty seven thousand five hundred. If Arthi is not in a position to pay this amount to the company at the end of one year, the company will charge the interest on rupees fifty-seven thousand five hundred thereafter. Thus, the principal for the second year would be rupees fifty-seven thousand five hundred and not fifty thousand rupees, which is the amount at the end of the first year. At the end of the second year, Arthi will pay back to the company a. New principal equals to rupees fifty seven thousand five hundred. B interest on the new principal for one year at the rate of fifteen percent per annum equals to fifty seven thousand five hundred into fifteen into one upon one hundred 
equals to rupees eight thousand six hundred twenty-five. Thus, total amount payable to the company is equals to rupees fifty-seven thousand five hundred plus rupees eight thousand six hundred twenty-five equals to rupees sixty-six thousand one hundred twenty-five. Hence, total interest payable to the company equals to rupees sixty-six thousand one hundred twenty-five minus rupees fifty thousand equals to rupees sixteen thousand one hundred twenty-five. The interest calculated in this manner is called compound interest. In this case, the interest rupees sixteen thousand one hundred twenty-five is the compound interest on rupees fifty thousand for two years at the rate of fifteen percent per annum. In the first example, the simple interest rupees fifty thousand for the same period two years and at the same rate of interest fifteen percent was rupees fifteen thousand, whereas in the second example, the compound interest is rupees sixteen thousand one hundred twenty-five. That is rupees sixteen thousand one hundred twenty-five minus fifteen thousand, or rupees one thousand one hundred twenty-five more than the simple interest.